Welcome to another edition of Rogue's Gallery, where we count down the best of the worst villains according to your votes. This week we're looking at the foes so fearsome it takes an entire Justice League to take them down, and just missing out on the top 10 this week are Eclipso, Magadon, and the Royal Flush Gang. Let's start the countdown. Number 10, the White Martians. The White Martians were the brutal counterpart to the peaceful Green Martians who worked to slaughter their innocent brothers and left Mars a barren wasteland. They arrived on Earth in the form of the heroic Hyper Clan, but soon their methods proved too brutal, and after capturing the Justice League, Batman figured out their identities and took them out. Number 9, Solaris the Tyrant Sun. An artificial sun with its own sentience, Solaris feuded with the Superman dynasty for thousands of years. It took two teams of Justice Leagues fighting in two disparate time periods to take down the Tyrant Sun, who was eventually defeated by the Prime Superman with the aid of a Green Lantern ring. Number 8, Prometheus. Prometheus' parents were outlaws who were shot dead by police in front of him, so he grew up with an intense hatred of all that upheld the law. Using his helmet, he is able to access the fighting styles of any combatant he has on record, and once took out the entire Justice League on his own. Number 7, Maxwell Lord. Maxwell Lord was a businessman who originally worked with the Justice League, but became convinced that all metahumans should be controlled or eliminated. Lord himself is a metahuman with the power to influence others to do his bidding, and when he took over Superman, Wonder Woman was forced to kill Maxwell Lord to break his control over the Man of Steel. Number 6, Despero. Despero is an alien warlord and would-be universe conqueror from the planet Kalinor, of which he is brutal leader and tyrant. He seeks to have the rest of the universe under his heel, and along with his brutal strength and cunning, he has a third eye on his forehead, which gives him a degree of psychic powers. Number 5, Amazo. Amazo is an android created by the evil professor Ivo, with all of the powers of the Justice League, thanks to its first encounter with the team where it absorbed their abilities. There have been multiple incarnations of the android rather than one single reoccurring instance, but it grows more powerful with every member of the Justice League it meets. Number 4, Injustice Gang. There have been multiple coalitions of the JLA's enemies into one group, but none more iconic than the Injustice Gang. The group usually features a direct one-to-one -one correlation with the current Justice League lineup, with one villain for each of the JLA members. With its most iconic grouping bringing together the likes of Lex Luthor, the Joker, and Cersei in pursuit of one common goal. Number 3, Starro the Conqueror. Starro is actually the oldest enemy of the Justice League of America and fought them way back in their first appearance in 1960. In its first appearance, it was a giant starfish-shaped creature that attacked Earth, but subsequent appearances established the more dangerous threat of its miniature duplicates, which affix to a person's face and puts them under Starro's command. While Starro is a fierce enemy to the Justice League and all heroes of Earth, it has an even fiercer rivalry with another team of superheroes, Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. Starro has traveled to Captain Carrot's Earth on multiple occasions seeking conquest, but was driven back every time. It was later revealed that the being known as Starro the Conqueror was a humanoid alien who was capable of subverting the control of the parasites and took control of the hive mind. With an army of Starro-controlled soldiers, he was able to dominate much of the galaxy before running across Vril Docks and his team of rebels. Number 2, The Crime Syndicate of America. The multiverse is filled with infinite Earths with infinite possibilities, but few are as dangerous as Earth 3, where the moral alignments of everyone on that world are flipped from those on our world. Earth 3 is ruled by the tyrannical crime syndicate of America, a dark mirror of the Justice League filled with evil counterparts. The team is usually comprised of Ultraman, Owlman, Superwoman, Johnny Quick, and Power Ring, but is occasionally shown to have an even larger roster. On the world of Earth 3, their chief enemy is Alexander Luther, who fights to protect the rights of the world's citizens. The crime syndicate were able to cross over to Earth Zero thanks to Pandora's box, which acted as a gateway to the world of evil, and they took over the Prime Earth almost immediately. With the entire secret society of supervillains under their command, Earth was helpless, but they were eventually stopped by a small band of unloyal criminals led by Lex Luthor. And number one, Darkseid. Darkseid is the tyrant ruler of the planet Apocalypse and essentially the god of all evil. He seeks the anti-life equation, which proves that all life in the universe is subservient to Darkseid himself, and is more prone to subtle manipulations of day-to-day -day life making Earth a worse place overall, as opposed to large universe-conquering plants. After unlocking the anti-life equation, Darkseid spread it throughout the Earth which became a nightmare world similar to Apocalypse, as a small band of uncorrupted heroes fought back. 
It took a radiant bullet fired by Batman to poison the god of all evil, followed by Superman singing the note made by the bell Batman rang to call for Alfred's help following his first adventure, and the arrival of the Black Racer, led by both Flashes, to finally defeat Darkseid. It was established that Darkseid was the first villain that brought the post-Flashpoint Justice League together as he invaded the Earth with a legion of parademons. It took the emerging heroes of the world working together to drive him away, establishing the team the Flash dubbed the Super 7, but which later settled on the name the Justice League. That's it for this week's countdown. Keep an eye on ComicsAlliance.com for your chance to vote in the current polls.